This is a tripod broadcast. All they do is smoke weed and cough. Well, let's start recording, so... We just did. Okay, cool. I think this is a key show to listen to because it's... It's it's, uh, it's all about emotional masturbation. <laughs> Journalistic integrity. It encapsulates everything that we're about. And I'm sorry. Now, <laughs> give that some thought. Yeah. With Addison... I can't be mad at you. You got a haircut. And Matt. I would recommend that you stop listening right now. <laughs> Check, check, dicks, 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 dicks. Well, that was a good uh, recap of Addison's Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, also, so hold I didn't... On, hold on, just a okay. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the space heater. I'm surprised. Well, yeah, I guess you just got home. Yeah, I... I... I I got home. I had five minutes to feed the cat, and take a two minute shower, and then you were. I heard this. This sounded like it was raining, but someone you were pissing against the side of my house. <laughs> you didn't hear it. Don't be disrespectful. I did pee on the side of your house, though. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, I really had to go, and you were in the shower when I pulled up, and duty calls. It was dark over there. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. No, it's cool. Um. Also, so I didn't bring any weed. Oh, well, I did, man, but not um, to smoke. Sadly, I don't have any flour, so I did. And this was the only good thing about the Thanksgiving trip. I stopped by the Illinois dispensary, and mm-hmm. yeah, so that I forget what this is called. Oh, I think this is green crack. It's good. It's it's good for what ails you. So you're welcome to. Uh, Got a disposable fit. Isn't that, isn't that nice matte feel on there? Isn't that nice? Is this uh, uh, this is a one time? Yeah, it's a disposable. Yeah, when it's empty, it's empty. But it's rechargeable. Isn't that odd? That is weird. Um, you can recharge it, but it is uh, disposable. Hey, you got to twist off, twist off, and there's a little micro USB under there. There you go. Huh? That's weird. I know, right? I think they do that as like a premium thing. But there's no real way you're going to burn it out just going through that. Because I think that's like 0.3 grams. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, weird indeed. It's good for what ails you, though. It's got a little bit of CBD in there as well. I always try and, if I get if I get concentrates of any kind, I try and get them with CBD as well. Hmm. Now. Yeah, no offense to, uh, to the green crack that is the Delta 8 green crack. Mm. But this tastes a lot better. Yeah, obviously. The Delta Eight Green Crack is what I'm smoking on right now. Oh, really? The, the, yeah. yeah. Well, you know that's just that's just terpenes they mixed up to be like the strain. Like any any Delta Eight like that, it's just it's just their proprietary blend of terpenes. Uh, which hats off to Pinnacle because they nail the terpenes. Like for their flavors, mm-hmm. I got so they have flour now, Delta Eight flour. Yeah. And I got some to try, and I got uh, I guess it was the Blue Skittles. Dude, it tasted exactly like Skittles. I was like. Hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> so those moon rocks you gave me? Uh huh. You smoked those? I, I I did. By the way, hi mom. It's a can of cast. Uh, they taste like gasoline. They do, don't they? Don't they? They yeah. very much do, because they're they're bud soaked and distill it. Yeah, it's very. It's, it's not. It's not good. It's pungent. No, it's not. It's, it's not great. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. Welcome to Give That Some Thought, Tripod Broadcasting's flagship show. We are here after a long, long absence. We are. It's been... It's been... Like a month and a half. It has. Yeah. It's been some time. It's just life. You know? It is. Yeah. And we almost canceled this week, because... Uh, well, you said you had a fever yesterday. Would you... I did. I, you I, had the Wuhan for like 12 hours Monday, or what? Monday night. Monday night, uh, woke up in the middle of the night and just was just sweaty and just... And, and chills and, and not good. Um, yeah, so... Sure, it just wasn't your Tuesday. Succubus. Tuesday I woke up. It could have been. <laughs> Tuesday I woke up and uh, just felt like crap. And so I, I went to work and to tell them, hey, I'm not coming to work today. <laughs> Mistake as a boss man. <laughs> no, it, it was basically, I, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. I'm going to do my orders that I normally do on Tuesday. You know, stuff I got to do. Yeah, stuff I got to do and then do the rest of what I need to do from home. Uh, I feel like crap. 
here's how we should do things for tonight. Um, you know, so it worked out just fine. Yeah. So they, they had it covered. But are you caught up on succession? Yes. Nice. What do you think? And we'll just do spoilers. We'll just say spoilers so we can talk about it. Where, where, where are you at? What do you think? I, I have finished the latest episode. You haven't? I have. I have? Yeah. yeah that's, I have too, yeah. So. The king is very securely on his throne again. Mm-hmm. Very very much so, uh, Logan. But uh, I think he's going to see Shiv. I, I think Shiv's going to try and go toe-to-toe with him, but he's going to see it coming a mile away. Well, she no. She, I think what her play is, she's going to try to go toe to toe with with uh, Roman. Yeah, and uh, I don't know how this whole Jerry thing plays with with Roman now. I know, he right? Pretty much had it on lockdown. Yeah, and now you know he's, a, a colossal fuck up. He sends a dick pic to his dad. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> doesn't uh, we already said spoilers? Yeah, uh, it doesn't bode too well. But yeah, I, I I I'm enjoying this episode or this this season so far. It's not. Um, Fantastic! I did not like the was it last episode, the birthday episode, the birthday episode. Yeah, Kendall's I wasn't birthday. a huge fan. It's I just, wasn't a huge fan. It's just like uh, watching somebody like twist a puppy's testicles. Yeah, it's like it's no, it's like it's not fun. Like it's a puppy. Come on, leave it alone. You know. Yeah. But um, well, I feel like they took the entire episode to tell the story that was told in the last ten minutes. You know, just about Kendall mm-hmm. and the the sort of the progression. Of, you know, let's fucking do it and to, you know, oh, wait, I'm actually like super broken and the only thing I care about is my kids, but nothing matters, you know, like to get him to that place. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I really dug the way they did it, to be honest. It was all right, but it wasn't, <clears throat> wasn't great. Yeah. It's still, it's, it's, it's decent television. It is. It so. is. Best thing on TV. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, it is. It's better. What are you than, watching? It's better than Yellowstone, but Yellowstone's pretty good it's decent yeah. have you so, told me about yellowstone i, I have I, I, I last year i was amc you, uh no paramount paramount so you gotta stream it or just find a torrent i guess yeah basically interesting and i've i've, I've been watching both um because they're in in they're like episode five or six right now so they're cut like two weeks behind with their new their new season mm-hmm. um so i've been watching both them in succession mm. Uh, to get two things to look forward to every week. Well, three. Wheel of Time is going on right now, too. But no, uh, Succession and Yellowstone, the characters are very similar. Yeah. Not in how they act, but in their um, their archetypes. Yeah. You have the the big boss, then the oldest brother. <laughs> then you have, you have, a, you have, you have a, a brother, the eldest brother who's dead. Right. Which is basically, you know... That's that's basically um, uh, what's the oldest brother in succession? Kendall. No, not Kendall. No. Oh, Connor. 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 Yeah. You have Connor. <laughs> Connor. He's basically dead. <laughs> Dude, he actually. I was gonna put him up if if cause, and I thought about this, but I didn't really like write it out or anything. But I was gonna come up with like three different things, you know, like best in show, best acted, and so we could talk about succession. Mm-hmm. Um, and I gotta say, I really like Connor now. I really like Connor. And just the way he obtusely thinks that, you know, he can be president. It's yeah. kind of, I'm like, well, look at him. So you have the the, the eldest son who's who's dead. Yeah. And, and he's <laughs> not a big spoiler. He dies in like the first five minutes of episode one of the entire series in Yellowstone. Right. Then you have, so he's the, then you have the second oldest son. And he's this big blustering, like, doofus that kind of doesn't fit in. But then is revealed to be like super weak, right? And just trying to escape his dad's shadow. And you have a vindictive sister, who's a a bitch to everybody. And then you have the um, the younger son, who's probably the most put together, right? But still fucked, com- completely fucked up. <laughs> like not in the um, masturbate on a, the window of a high rise, but like <laughs> it's a dick pics to your dad. <laughs> but like. Empty an AR-15 and into some guy just because you think he's, you know, doing Cross something wrong. or something. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you have the oligarch. And it's it's it's, it's quite an interesting show. And Yellowstone. It's, it's well done. You like Sons of Anarchy. I, I do like... Yeah, I watched Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, you liked it, right? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Sons of Anarchy, 
but on horses and with much better acting and much better acting. The writing isn't much better. Right. The characters are much better. Just because they're better acted? They're better acted and they're more thought out. Yeah. But you still have kind of the motorcycle gang element with the ranch hands. Right. Who are kind of have, it's it's a gang, basically. You right. Know? Um, and set in the modern day? Or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Set in modern day. Interesting. Maybe I will watch it. The, the main thrust of the, the show is that you have this 70-year-old, you know, rancher who's like this king rancher who owns the largest uh, cattle farm in Montana. Mm. And he's hugely influential. And he, like, will appoint the attorney general and picks out politicians and people come to him to, to you know, for favors and that so kind Logan of thing. Logan Roy. Yeah, he's like this godfather figure, but it's, you know, cattle ranching. Nice. And um, Yellowstone. I got to watch that. That'd probably really resonate with me. I told you I visited my, my wife's cousin's cattle farm. Yeah. Shit's awesome. And uh, <laughs> and basically they're trying to, he's trying to hold on to the ranch as you have developers, you know, Indian reservation encroachment. Problems, yeah. And it's it's basically politics of him trying to hold on to the ranch in the 21st century when everybody's chomping at the bit to, you to know. To take it. To do, well, yeah, to take it and to develop it and, you know. Divide it up. Turn it into the, the, you know, the next Aspen in Colorado Springs and, you know, hmm. what Colorado was 40 years ago. Right. Montana is kind of today. Yeah. You know, so. it's Interesting. It's an interesting show and uh, well done. Yellowstone. Yeah. Good for what ails you. Mm-hmm. It it was the, you know, Paramount has done their their streaming service. Yeah. But this was kind of the show, but they've had a network on TV for a while. Oh, okay. That's been playing okay. like old Paramount movies and stuff. <clears throat> right. This was their, hey, we're going to get. We're going to produce our own content. We're going to do content. A, a, a A-list TV yeah. show that will be a draw. And we'll start it on our network and then move it over to our streaming service as, gotcha. an, as an anchor for the streaming service. Yeah. So that was kind of their their thing. Interesting. Cool. So he, there's a lot of... Um, so you remember from season two, the redhead from uh, True Detective? Mm, kind of, Vince yeah. Vince Vaughn's wife? Yeah, 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 yeah. She plays the vindictive daughter. Okay. Shiv? So, yeah, <laughs> she Shiv plays character. the Shiv character. And she is so detestable. I, I, she's so, her character is... Evil. evil. Shiv is really detestable to me right now. She, yes. I'm I'm very... I don't love I, you, but I, I love you. Like I, I, I don't love her at all. The, I hate her so much. No, no, no. The, the way she treated Tom in the last episode. Give me your thoughts on that. Because she said... Give I, that some I, I, Well, she, she's saying, I'm with you because I need to be with you, but I'm not passionate about you. That's a shitty thing to do. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That makes you a shitty person. Like you, we're together because it's it's politically it's, expedient for me well, to it's, do so. It's strategic and it, it yeah. makes sense. I can hate her, man. I hate her so much. Yeah. Every time she comes on screen now, I'm like, you fucking awful bitch. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> uh, no, but then my wife got really pissed because she she was like watching over my shoulder for a second, just here on my laptop, you know. And and I said that I was like a ah, fucking awful bitch, and and she was like, "Why is it that you hate all the women in the TV shows you watch?" <laughs> and it's true because there's Mad Men, and I hate all, I hate I hate most of the women in there. Mm-hmm. I really kind of hate Peggy. I really Joan is okay. Joan is okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christina Hendricks. Mm-hmm. Um, but Betty, Don's wife and the next wife, fucking cunt. Just, just an absolute bitch. I hate her so much. Uh, she very rarely tries to be a good mom. She sleeps around on Don. She's just a terrible person. Just terrible. Um, He's kind of sleeping around on her too, though. You know? A whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't justify it. Anyways, um, I, but I don't defend. I used to defend Don, like ironically unironically i would like defend Don to my wife you know and be like he he's misunderstood sure <laughs> you know while he's, while he's doing all the horrible things that he does um until my second watch through when i got all the way to the end and i was like i was like i see the story of don now and and i don't like it it's ugly it's about like the american experience and, and you know a lot of other things but yeah but, uh, yeah, so I, I don't defend Don Draper to my wife anymore. <laughs> well, that's probably good. <laughs> that was my move, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you this. This is the newest. Uh, is that a new switchblade you have? That's the new Everyday Carry. 
Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. So I literally, probably a month ago, I sent Hango, <laughs> shout out to Hango, uh, I, I sent Hango a text, <laughs> I just said, <laughs> I said, if I want to buy a Switchblade, where am I going? <laughs> And he literally sent me a link to that knife and, and was like, this is what I'd recommend that's not going to break the bank, but is going to be a good OTF knife, the out the front knife. And I was like, okay, so, you know, and I, I look at it and there was probably a couple of days and I watched a couple of reviews on YouTube because it's 60 bucks, you mm-hmm. know, and I was like trying to justify and, you know, and, and so then I finally ordered it and, uh, but it was funny because he's like, he's like, I really appreciate that I'm the guy you text when, you, when you're looking for weapons. Don't don't know exactly what you're doing. I was like, bro, my man. We've seen. I've, he showed us pictures of his gun case. He ha- cases. Oh, oh, he he sends me all, all all the time. I think when he gets when he gets new stuff in, he he likes to. He sends me. Yeah, he's. I I, I wouldn't fuck with Hango. Is is basically you know maybe I should ask him before I post this about what he wants us to share. But no, he he. Yeah, he's he, he has enough um he has enough guns. Can you really ever have enough guns? <laughs> That's very true. I I actually told him um cuz I started watching Demolition Ranch with my kids. Mm-hmm. It's this YouTube channel where <laughs> this guy does just just the bat shit crazy stuff, you know, like shooting incinerator rounds you know, 50 caliber incinerator rounds into oxygen tanks, for example, Th- things of that nature. Sure. <laughs> as you do, as you do. And I've, I'll, some, I'll watch it with my kids. And, uh, so th- one of the guns that he really likes is this Barrett 50 caliber, which is essentially a 50 caliber bolt action rifle. Like you, you, you put the giant 50 caliber shell in there, mm-hmm. you know, and then, and then, and then you, you fire it and it's, you know, one at a time. And, but it's a cool ass gun and it's a, Fucking fifty cal, like it's just it's the coolest thing, and uh, they're on they're on um like you can buy this like th- th- this could be a civilian weapon like it's it, it's not inconceivable. And I asked Hango one time, I was like I was like, tell me you have a Barrett fifty cal, <laughs> and he he just said I did, and he's like, and now my wife wears it around her finger. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> so Hango's Barrett, yeah, is actually on on Tink's finger. <laughs> Because that's essentially that's the kind of money that you're looking at as well for a, a really nice yeah. you know uh, piece of jewelry. Um, uh, fifty cal is probably you, not fifty cal. Is that's, that's, I think that's, you can get them for under ten grand. But that's a that's a that's a fun <laughs> weapon though. That's like yeah, take oh, yeah. to the range and yeah. do interesting stuff with. Yeah, it's not tactically. Oh no, th- no no no. Okay, it's not tactically. Yes, there are certain situations where that rifle, like you know, warfare, absolutely come in handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but f- as as opposed to like practicality for yeah. like home defense or even just like sport, <laughs> you know, there's not. A, I, I assume like unless you can you, probably hunt something with it at super long. Oh, range. I'm, I'm sure I would you guess could. People do that. Yeah, like some big, you know, wildebeest or <laughs> sasquatch or some shit uh, mounted on the back of a of a truck, right? Or from a helicopter. <laughs> I'm sure. Th- I'm sure somewhere in Texas, there's some dude who runs a fantastically successful business, allowing people to shoot Barrett 50 calibers out of, out of a helicopter at, at, at feral hogs. At feral hogs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't Adam talk about that? Didn't he do one of those things? I I don't know. Or he knows one. Yeah. Um, I've been listening to a lot of No Agenda with all the all the all the shit that happened to me. I've been holed up a lot and just had a lot of time, mm-hmm. and plus the drive to Tennessee and the drive back. Um been listening to a lot of no agenda and damn i gotta say it's a great podcast yeah it is. thank you for hitting me in the mouth I, I, you're welcome and i would recommend it to anybody uh if you want really to just get some a perspective on um the the propaganda yeah and the bullshit that the comes, mainstream narrative that well, if you will. the bullshit that comes out of all of our devices yeah <laughs> tv our and phones the bullshit that, faces. that cnn and google are trying to you know tell you with every day feed you just just to be able to uh Get perspective on it. Yeah, a different take on it, and that's what they do very well. They really do. So. They're they're honestly, you know, and they'll, they'll joke about this from time to time, but they they are honestly like one of the last entertaining journalistic outfits that is like out there, dude. Yeah, like, I mean, who else, you know, other than you know guys like us? But that's not you know, and they don't hold a candle to them in terms of numbers. 
Yeah. I mean, he's they've said it on the show before. They get a million listens an episode. That's that's unreal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the podcast game, it really is. Yeah. But anyways, we speaking of that, though, and I was hoping actually the next time we would meet, uh, we'd get the chance to take or, you know, be able to officially launch this. But I'm working on some things for Tripod. Okay. I, I, I think, as you're aware, uh, th- there may be some fun things soon soon available to to those that would find themselves in need of them. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> what was the other thing I was going to say? Something about Tripod. Oh, we've embraced the, also the podcasting 2.0. We're all everything's everything's in the podcast index, um, and this show actually you can you can boost it and send sats, just like no agenda does. Sats, yeah, Satoshi's the, oh, the okay. smallest fraction of Bitcoin. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, with with podcasting 2.0 enabled apps, it's really kind of cool. Hmm. I do it from time to time. It's how I'll support no agenda sometimes if I'm not going to do the full like 333 read my note, <laughs> you know, donation. <laughs> read my note. Do a, do a bad read of my poorly written. <laughs> a- a- advertisement. Don't be rude. Well, don't be rude. I sent it to them one time, and they they said they liked it. Yeah. Or Adam did. I I can't remember which one that was on. I actually have. Uh, I have a. I have. I have a vinegar collection. <laughs> I've got about ten different vinegars, six of which I've done myself. But but Chef Philip at the Rack House, he Mass always like he, he liked making vinegars, mm. and I've kind of done the same. So I actually have like half a dozen I want to send to John for his vinegar book. Because <laughs> this is like some – this is uh, for those who aren't familiar with No Agenda, um, John Dvorak, uh, he's uh, one, of the, one of the people from No Agenda, but he's like 70, used to write for Wired Magazine. Yeah. Uh, 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 tech TV, I think. Yeah. This Week in Tech. He's done a bunch of stuff in the, in the tech sector. Early Silicon Valley. Yeah. Like he was one of like, you know, the older crowd. Yeah. You know? Um. But he's he's always keeps telling he's going to write this book about vinegar, different types of vinegars. <laughs> and I'm like, well, maybe if I send him like like twelve s- vinegars, some vinegars, and he really likes them, maybe he'll be like, you know, co-written by chef, <laughs> and I can get a credit in there, you know, launch myself into doing something. Look at you. Well, there you go. No. But I have a uh, vinegar made from Hefeweizen and beer. Oh wow, nice. I have a vinegar made from strawberries. Okay. Um, I'll bet that's good. Yeah, I have a. Lemon and bourbon vinegar. Interesting. I made from lemon juice and bourbon. Okay. Which I wasn't sure how I could, you know, doing that from, you know. <laughs> Do it, yeah. A liquor instead of wine, but still was able to, to, to make it happen. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have uh, some other just vinegar, different vinegars that, I, that I've done. Um, but there's a, I think there's a raspberry vinegar. I want to do like a chocolate one because I think that that really interesting. The flavor with the bite, uh huh. Flavor, hmm. hmm. Dichotomy. I don't know. Chocolate vinegar. Yeah. Is it a thing? Have you Googled it? Has anybody I don't done know. it? I don't know. I I can do it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Chocolate I, vinegar. Well, maybe we'll sell that on the site. Well, no. What I was thinking about is taking like a stout. Hmm. A couple stouts. <laughs> yeah. And like, there's some chocolate stouts you can get out there, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then letting that spoil, adding my cultures because I have like vinegar cultures, <laughs> adding that in there, and then letting it grow from that. Right. No. Yeah. As long as it doesn't. You pick might up not. You might not get f- the chocolate in the end, though. Oh, if you if you cho- started with like a chocolate stout, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Did that flavor would stay there. That. that no. I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Interesting. I need to try your vinegars though, because yeah. I like I like things that bite. The strawberry vinegar is is great to just do on just like if you had a salad with with strawberries. Yeah, which I know you're not a fan of fruit and salads. I'm not. I'm not. It's true. But like some raw spinach with some sliced strawberries, some brie cheese, mm-hmm. some pecans or walnuts over the top of that, and then you just <laughs> that take so gross. then you just take the the strawberry vinegar and just over the top. Right. Boom. What was it? A little bug. Yeah. I hate those fuckers. Little nuts. And it's amazing because I really thought they were going to go because I saw I saw one in my house the other day. No, every time it goes up, the temperature gets up past like fifty degrees in my house. Yeah, at least in the ups, like like at least in the downstairs. But it's cold. It's that's what I'm saying. It's colder now. Like I would have thought they would have like all gone away. I don't know. There was, it's pretty cold now. I was I was taking a poop today at work and there was still there was a fly buzzing around. One of them in there. Yeah. And I was like, what the? It's December, you fucker. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be dead. Get out of here. How is that possible? 
Yeah. But, you know, who knows? I know the bartenders don't clean behind the bar, so there's fruit fly problems sometimes. Yeah. Um, hmm. But, you know. Need somebody in there to whip them into shape? If only. <laughs> It's are hard, you, are you it's familiar, hard keeping the bartenders on a leash? Are you familiar with you, – you're not a big Parks and Recreation fan. Not huge, but I've seen a decent amount of there's, it. There's, are you familiar with Henry Winkler's character, no. Fonzie? Um, he's John Ralphio's dad? No, never saw him. Huh. Okay, so in that episode, it's John Ralphio and his John Ralphio's sister and their, their dad. <laughs> okay. And the sister's line is, I've literally never done anything wrong in my life ever. <laughs> And he says, he says to you, he he says to her, she he says, I know this and I love you. So I, yeah, oh, so the meme, yeah, I've I, seen that. I, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I took that meme and I I superimposed some names of people who work at the rack house. <laughs> because, people who would say that sort of thing. Yeah, there's just one bartender who every time something goes wrong and she's it wasn't me. Yeah, to be held accountable for something, she's she says, I've literally never done anything wrong in my life ever. And somebody else comes along and says, I know this and I love you. And none of us can say shit because he, he signs our paychecks. So. <laughs> but knowing he doesn't listen. Um, Helps. Yeah. Yeah. Does. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I did the Hango show while we were in reprieve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. He who shall not be named shot me a text afterwards. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> Actually, a couple days afterwards, so I know he listened to it. He he sent me the post from the Tripod Broadcasting Telegram channel, and he forwarded it to me, and he goes, he goes, um, you should fire Matt and do this full time. <laughs> it's still not too late. Well, the thing is, I, I, I think he was kidding. I don't necessarily know, but mm-hmm. it, just, it just got me so fucking funny, man. <laughs> I, I was just like... That's some good shit. <laughs> that was a good conversation. It was good. a good conversation. Um, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. So, yeah, where was I? Succession. No. No, we talked about succession. You talked about your vinegars. Oh, your yeah. vinegar, vinegar exit strategy. Yeah, it's not really we an exit strategy. We could sell strategy. one tripod. I, I yeah, I've got a cart installed. The, the, We're hopefully gonna do the more and more stuff. I think about it, like exit strategy for me, the more and more is just is just I have some I have enough connections like when Missouri legalizes, man, I wish I wish I was sitting on about ten K. Yeah. When the the second Missouri legalizes. Yeah. Because I would love to open up a like boutique yeah. edible shop. It's 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 the best fucking edibles you're gonna get. Yeah. That'd and be amazing. And it's it's me and like one other person, you yeah. know? And it's boutique and it's small. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, we're in some shopping center. Yeah. You know? And nothing's ever the same every I, time you go in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's just constantly new. Yeah. Yeah. Different things. Inventive. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Some things work, some things don't. I don't know. We'll It'll see. be fun as hell, man. I'm getting to the point where I'm, I've, I've been having a lot of hip pain lately, yeah. the past month. And I, I think it's because the weather's changing. I'm not drinking as much water at work. Mm. Um, you gotta stay on that. Yeah, I know. Because I'm not like sweating it out as much, so I'm not drinking as much. Um, but yeah, it's it's some days are, are, are by the end of the day, I'm kind of like hobbling, yeah. trying to you know get around. Well, you're gonna have to find an exit strategy. Yeah, you know, maybe you could be up. a chef in the metaverse. You think maybe? Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, it's so fake and gay, man. You think I could sell an NFT of my beef Wellington? <laughs> Probably. Probably, dude. I People are doing... people. Are, I, there's not a day that goes by on Instagram that I don't see some other dumb fuck putting some other dumb shit into the metaverse or the, the NFT-verse. Where's the best way to sell an NFT? Like, to, sell, to make and sell an NFT? I don't know. I, I'm the wrong person to ask because I detest all that shit. I could find out for you if you're serious, but because like just 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 take a picture of one of my Wellingtons, and be like, yeah, you own the rights to my Wellingtons, <laughs> right? See, okay, yeah. sure. See where the bidding yeah, goes. You yeah. own the rights. <laughs> yeah, 
No, it's crazy stuff, man. It's it's just it's all becoming faker. Like the rate that it's becoming faker has sped up so much. Yes, and and it's happening just just second by second. Mm-hmm. An hour by hour, minute by minute. I mean, it's just it's. And people people keep telling me they're like, "Oh, you you're just doom and gloom," and I'm like, "No, the internet, as we know it, it has to it has to come to an end." Mm-hmm. And, and that's um, you know because where we're we where we we're headed is the matrix. It's yeah, the hang, literal matrix in yeah. in your pod, mm-hmm. and you can get out and walk around your cube if you want to right with the right credentials yeah and maybe you could go the right qr code you know you can go outside and you can get out of your pod and hang out with your family and your wife for a couple hours yeah but then you go right back into your pod and do your virtual work and do this or that and the other or if you're single you just spend all your time in your pod yeah and you have your nutrient drip or whatever yep you know and uh, i know that's that's very dystopian compared to where we are now right but but think where about we are way, now is very dystopian compared to where we are we're like 10, ten years, years ago. ago. I was just going to yeah. say, think about where we were ten years ago and look at where we are now, and you you wouldn't have, you know you'd be like, no, come on, there's no way. I mean, honestly, really take a look at it. I really try and do this when I go out. So I sold my smartwatch, and 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 so my phone. So nothing ever bothers me from this damn thing. Mm-hmm. It's always just quiet, and and no buzzes, no beeps, no boops, no nothing. Yeah, but for the very rare occasion, you know, like when I was away from my kids, I was like, bring her on, you know, in case anybody needs to call. Um, but it's like, so when I go out, I, I'm I'm not hardly ever on my phone if, if I'm out in a store or something like that. And I just look around and everyone's just like fucking hunched over the damn thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's true. It's like, it's like freaky. Like, I'm like, hey, hello. Like you really, sometimes, sometimes depending on the place, uh, and the amount of people in there, it really, it'll feel like a, like a Black Mirror episode. Like, just, just freaky and weird. I'm like, what what world is this that we've found ourselves in? Yeah. It's because it is a Black Mirror episode. Exactly. And so this is what I'm telling people. Buy quail. Start raising quail. You'll find all of your happiness when those little speckled eggs come out. You really will. I did see so much there satisfaction. There is very there. few. Do you know what it's like there's, to there's, have your wife cook a meal? With quail eggs for your family that you that everybody at that table helped raise. I guess if it's for the family, it would probably take seven or eight hours for her to cook <laughs> four hundred and fifty eggs to feed <laughs> two adults and two young children. No, the breakfast she made the other day. Did I not send you a picture? You did, yeah. The homemade bread uh-huh. and then the garlic and herb goat cheese. And Fourteen quail and eggs bacon on top of and- one half piece of toast, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're smaller than chicken eggs. They're very small. You've, you've made your point. Yeah. You made your point. And actually, these these new ones we have are actually, they're they're about half the size of a chicken egg. Really? Because I'm like they're, these I was are about, pretty big. I was about to ask you what's, eggs it, out of what's the, uh, well Esther was wondering how many taps does it take to crack a grain of rice <laughs> or something of equivalent size? Um, a quail egg it takes actually a lot more because they don't like eggs that you just buy somewhere mm-hmm. are easy to crack because they've shot the chickens with something that makes them easy to crack. People don't realize that. So when you eat eggs, like even chicken eggs from like a farm or a farmer, they're a little bit harder to crack. Quail eggs are even harder to, to, to crack than those. So actually because you don't they have, have these... as much surface area compared to. And the surface area. Yeah. The surface area. And it's very, there's a very thick membrane on quail eggs. Mm. And so there's actually a nifty device, and we have four of them, called quail egg scissors. And what the, what this item is, you know, I'm dead serious. You you put the quail egg in like in like a hole. Mm-hmm. That, that that is sharp and then there, and then there's a, a a very pointy blade with with sharp edges on each end that comes out and then you just squeeze it and cut the top right off the quail eggs and dump them right in mm-hmm. it's Mwah. um <laughs> my old chef had uh, a very similar device mm. but it was a spring loaded looks like a syringe you mentioned this on the show but one at time. the end of the syringe there's this little cup right and it fits on top of the egg and it snips off like the top 20 percent of the egg yeah yeah neat little device mm-hmm. neat little device these quail egg scissors are are fantastic well there you go but we all yeah we all ate them the other okay and compared to normal They're smaller eggs, compared to normal chicken but... eggs you have a much higher yolk to white ratio right Mm. At least from the pictures you sent I me, I think so. It looked like it was normally you get about a fifty. Normally you get about 
regular chicken egg, I would say 60-40 or 65-35. white to yolk? You white to yolk. 60, I would say that's about what they are. Really? Probably. Okay. It looked, the the yolk looked much larger compared to the, the no, white. No, it could have just been the one I sent you to him, but. Could've I mean, been. from what I've, I mean, I've eaten a bunch of them now. Could have been the dirty bitch burnt the edges and had to trim them off. It's, well, you know. Mm-hmm. They're small. You got to watch them. Real, real. <laughs> but no, it's been a great experience, honestly. And every day. Sorry, Meredith. I didn't, I, sh- I shouldn't have called you a dirty bitch. <laughs> Fantastic woman. Every day, the kids go down first thing in the morning and get the quail eggs. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's. I don't know, man. It's really magical. We're really enjoying. Are the quail? It. Are they in the basement? Right now, yeah, mm-hmm. they are. Yeah. Well, they went down, and then Calamity Jane had to have her issue in Tennessee, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, I, I hadn't decided whether I was going to mention that or not, but yeah, no, she had surgery, and it was a pain in the ass. And what day? What day was that that she had to have the surgery? <laughs> Two p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. Hmm. She had emergency surgery in, um, where was it? Aaron, Tennessee. I, I think was where the hospital was. Or maybe hmm. it was Dover. Anyways, Tennessee. Middle, middle, literally. Oh, and I found this out. Okay, so here's a couple of thoughts on my trip to Tennessee. Notwithstanding, you know, my wife's surgery. <laughs> Tennessee, cool as hell. Mostly Christian. There's lots of like Jesus fish and stuff hmm. like that. Only whites, which... Huge plus. Outside of Memphis. <laughs> no comment. We, we weren't anywhere near Memphis. Um, and, and Nashville. Dry counties exist down there. Yes, they do. So yeah. so the night before, Wednesday night, and this was before she you know, had the extreme pain and we were down, headed down that road. Um, the night before, her dumbass sister, uh, and, and shouts out to her if she listens, but her dumbass sister dropped the white wine that they brought for the recipe out of her car. And so they're like, Addison, go go up to the Piggly Wiggly and get some get some white wine. Go to the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> oh, the Piggly Wiggly? We were in there all, all the whole week, man. Go to the I, Piggly Wiggly. They carry your groceries to your car. It's all white kids that work there. They look you in the eye. It's I'm so telling you, you I'm going to move to the middle of Tennessee. They say this yes, was, sir. Yes, they sir, do. with a full firm handshake. They do. Yeah. It's great. Hmm. It's it really anyways with, with their twenty two rifles slung on over their the, back at the Bigly Wiggly yeah with a mouthful of chew <laughs> there's a lot of yeah a lot of chewing mm. I, I will say that well so anyway so it, I'm like okay I'll just go up to the Bigly Wiggly it's a grocery store I should be able to get white wine I go in I do a lap around this thing because it's not that big and I'm like <laughs> I was like huh they don't sell alcohol here and I was just thinking maybe it was just like the chain or you know whatever yeah. regulation whatever. And so there's a BP like right down the street, right, right. Burns. And I'm like, well, I'll run in there. They'll have, it'll be gas station, but it's for recipe. Just whatever. It's great. I go into the BP. I go through, I go in the back. There's, there's an extra cooler to get in, to get to some more alcohol as many places have. And so I go into the cooler and as I walk into this cooler, I start to realize as I'm making a lap around this walk-in cooler, I'm like, oh, it's only like seltzers and beer in here. Every kind of beer and every kind of alcoholic seltzer you could possibly imagine. Like, they had fucking IPA. Like, they had just everything. And I'm like, that's kind of odd. And I'm, like, looking around. I'm like, well, there's got to be, like, wine somewhere. And finally, I go up to the guy at the desk. And I'm like, I just need a bottle of white wine. It's actually, you know, for recipe or whatever. And he's like, he's like, no, nah, this, this here is a dry county. We don't, we don't sell any alcohol. Like, no liquor, no wine at all. But all the beer they could possibly sell. I know. And and I'm like, well, maybe that's just this place that, you know, whatever. But then, then I noticed like every, everywhere I went, like you'd go to another convenience store or some other grocery store or whatever, same thing. Every beer you can imagine and not a, not a drop of wine hmm. or, or liquor. I know. Yeah. And I'm like, this is really something. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's a little, it's, it's like a culture shock. I was like, yeah. Yeah. This is so weird. But any beer you could possibly. I think Dry Counties ex- exist in Missouri, but. I, do they? Yeah. No, maybe they do. I'm glad we don't live in one. <laughs> well, but think about it. You'd have, you'd, you'd probably be, a, if you lived in a Dry County, you'd probably be like 100 pounds fatter. Because all that beer. I'd, prob- I'd be out of I a mean, job I- is what I'd be. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Kitchen wine. Whiskey. We, actually, we actually just got uh, named top 10 whiskey joints in oh, St. No Louis, shit. the St. Louis area. Nice. Yeah. Um, very nice specific number. Or they just said the, top 10. The, no, no specific order. Yeah. That it was an alphabetical order list, but it was just, it, 
the blurb they wrote about us was not I didn't think it was that great but yeah. whatever what can um, you do I didn't I, you know whatever but um, yeah I mean we have we're closing in on 300 different whiskeys oh my gosh that we have wow so so there's your whiskey joint yeah one of the only places you can get Pappy right in St. Louis one of the few when we have it we get a bottle every once in a while and it always goes real fast but we have a lot of other select, very hard to get whiskeys that uh, yeah. yeah people pay hundred bucks for an ounce of it. That's wild. And it's like, okay, well, I guess that's yeah, how, I guess you that's know. what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. Um, yeah, yeah. We had a couple who's a, one of our regulars, and they came in last weekend, and I was doing oysters. Oh, and so they really each no they oysters. each ordered a dozen. And I was like, well, that's my oysters for the weekend. Because I didn't order that many. But, uh, yeah. we they, they each had a dozen order, oysters and then a full meal on top of it. And it's like, okay, oh my I, God. Get, I know what you two are doing when you get home. <laughs> Fucking and farting. Now I want to call the episode that, but that would be disrespectful. That'd be, that's be, that'd be blue. You want to you that's, don't want to work blue. That's big disrespectful. Yeah, him. especially when you're you're thinking about bringing somebody else on that's as a co-host. <laughs> exactly. You yeah. want to work. Blue. I want it to look as best yeah. as best as possible. Yeah. So what am I going to do while you guys record the episode? Like <laughs> sit in the corner and masturbate? Like <laughs> probably, probably. <laughs> if I if I if I watch reruns of Yellowstone with my headphones on, is that okay? <laughs> is that an issue? Yeah. 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 Just occasionally cough. <laughs> my mom my mom uh, was over at my house again for a bonfire the other night and uh <laughs> my sister actually was asking me about something and it was something that we've talked about on the show quite a bit mm-hmm. i don't even remember what she was talking about but i was like i was like just go listen to the show we talk about it all the time and and <laughs> my mom who listens to every damn episode right she listens to every episode she goes I, I said, well, just listen, you know, we talk about it all the time. And she emphatically could do, cuts in and goes, no, don't. All they do is smoke weed and cough. <laughs> and I was like, that's not true. I mean, at least she's, yeah, it kind of is. Like, that's not true. We don't cough that much. She she listens because she loves you and wants to make sure that you're making the right decisions. <laughs> I am though. I am. I, I. I. I really. Now that I am, but a humble quail farmer, I. I have found a new, a new joy in life, and that's family. Well, good. Through the quail. That's one of the. It's not through the quail. <laughs> they helped. Yeah. Maybe it was seeing something that you've nurtured over the past decade start to nurture something else. Ooh, there you go. Which is a good argument for a dog, wouldn't you say? Maybe a cat or two. Let your let your let your kids have a pet. No, start with a hamster. They they have like seven quail in the basement. I'm, they're not getting anything else. Yeah, but you know. And and uh, like I've already told them, like we're we're when it comes to animals that children will be having in our mm-hmm. family. We're using the Dwight Schrute method, which utility. means no, no wool, no meat, and no utility. It's out of the question for us. What about milk? Get a get a couple milk, goats. Milk counts, yeah. Milk counts. We'll get a couple goats. Well, yeah. The trouble is, you got to breed them to get the milk. Yeah, which is a you know pain, and then you got to because that's what my wife's brother did. They were like, oh, we want to try and do the 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 goats and the goat milk and everything, and then they're like. Oh wait, we gotta breed him, and that, that that's a whole complicated process. And where are you gonna get him at? And blah 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 blah. It's a, there's a lot more to it than than you think. But I, I'm telling you, man, I I want to own a farm, and, and I want to raise and grow everything that we consume, uh, and potentially sell it. I think we're gonna try and do bees next year. Oh, we're gonna add the bees to the fourteen. Uh, gardens and the quail. Well, you know where you can get your hive. That's true. Yeah, you know a guy. I'll give you a call. Yeah. Well, you know him too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, get a queen and see what happens. Yeah, and you text him and see if you can get a hive from him. And if you're lucky, you may get a response in three weeks. 
Uh, I bought a new local honey actually down at Tower Grove. You you, you wouldn't think, but uh, bee people kind of flighty. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, yeah, busybodies. <laughs> yeah, they're not very, yeah, not super. Whatever happened with that? Because that conversation went great, and then it it did, except crickets. there was no follow through. Yeah, with whatsoever. like, yeah, okay, make me a space to work. Let's let's get a prototype going. Right, and there was just no follow through. Yeah, whatsoever. and I, I doubt that kitchen is still is is even built right now. Yeah. Oh, it's probably in the same. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Well, anyways, should we do this and then knock off? I think so. Now these these are sponsored by. <laughs> we've we've got. I know at least one more from the Hango show, but th- on this, deck, yeah, 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 yeah. Which I didn't realize I brought over. <laughs> so. This happened. Maybe I smoked too much weed. No, this was by about four weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I brought this one that we have here, and the one you have up there. And I'll explain. I'll, yes, you did. And this was, I think, a week before Thanksgiving, or so. Maybe, That's okay. Maybe two weeks before Thanksgiving. Yeah. But this was uh, a day you came over. We were like, "Hey, let's record the podcast." And you, we, you sat down. Yes. And <laughs> we. Started. I don't know if we. Well, I think we. Started I gave smoking. you about forty five minutes of my shit, and then I gave you about forty five minutes of your yeah, shit. Yeah, and there was a certain point along the way <laughs> where we both looked at each other, and then we both looked at the task cam, and then we and just then we just kept we just talking. kept talking. Yeah, and uh, it was a great episode. To be fair, it was a fantastic episode. <laughs> if only we we recorded it. Brilliant. Yeah. Um. But there was there was just man. Uh, it, you had some real shit, and I had some. Yeah. It well, it would have been a. It would have been a great episode for the listener, but uh, it kind of, that was just a, a, a time that you came over that it just needed to be just you and me talking our bullshit to each other. Yeah. And then just letting it fly and getting it out there and not holding back because of who may be listening and that sort of thing. Yeah, so. exactly. And it was a good time. It was yeah. Absolutely a good time. Yeah, it was. Oh, shout out to Chris too. Oh, I that was right after was. Halloween. That was right after Halloween. It was like two weeks after Halloween, I think, is when it was. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. So like a week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, Chris and his wife, uh, Mrs. Rosendahl, had me and Meredith over for dinner. And it was just a, it was a fantastic time. It was mm-hmm. a beautiful time. I mean, it was it was really a pain because my wife is, in, you know, recovering from surgery. Sure. So, you know, like the drive out there and I'm like, are you okay? You know, and she kind of had to lay down towards the end but it it really and i I said this afterwards i I shot them a text and i was like uh you know really bless us that you brought us out there and and just kind of shared your thanksgiving because ours was (laughs) spent in the emergency room (laughs) yeah um and not just not just for a trip but for multiple hours and days on end um so yeah it was just really nice we went out there and holy shoot leslie missouri Milky Way, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, it's when 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 the temperature warms up and you know, sorry Chris, but uh, well, he's mentioned as much to me. But when the temperature warms up again, like some night, you got to come out there. Okay, it was because I we went out there for the Fourth of July and then mm-hmm. we went out there for uh, this dinner the other night and yeah, it's it's fantastic, great place, Chris. I can't wait to show up on your porch with an AR-15 when shit hits the fan. Anyway, so hang And on. your family as well, not just the gun. Well, you know, I, actually, I made a joke to somebody the other day. <laughs> or I said that to my wife. Here it comes. Well, no, I said, because I, I, that's what I said to her. I was like, because uh, my mom was like, well, you know, if if things get really weird, I don't know if I'll be able to make it out to you. And I was like, in Chesterfield? You can come out here all you want to. I'm, I'll am i be at Chris's. <laughs> and, and I was telling my wife that. And uh, it was funny because unsurprisingly i was really baked at the time and i said uh (laughs) hopefully chris gets a kick out of this but i said i said i mean what's that fucking hippie really gonna do you know i show up with my guns like there's nothing he can say i just say well this is mine now yeah he doesn't even (laughs) eat meat (laughs) right oh speaking of which uh and i'll ask uh you know if i can if i can post this but he he is about to change that I think he's I think he's going on like twelve years or something. Yeah. And we had a conversation the other night. And as a matter of fact, this is exactly what I said in front of everybody there at dinner. And I was like, I was like, look, Chris. I was like, you see through the matrix, you see through the bullshit, you get it. Blah, 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 blah. 
But I was like, this fake meat shit, man. I was like, I was like, look, here's the deal. Next time that Matt has duck on the menu, you and I will go, we'll order the duck, we'll eat the duck. And all I'm saying is if your poops are weird for a couple of days, it's worth it because it's Matt's duck and it'd be a perfect introduction back into meat. <laughs> but then it was funny because, and I was just joking. I was just spitballing. And uh, then he texted me afterwards and he was like, he's like, you know, man, I've, I've actually really been thinking a lot about the meat thing because, because the new world order is, you know, predicated on, you know, oh, we're going to eat 3d printed meat and all this, mm-hmm. you know, tofurkey and whatever else. And he's like, and you know, he's as am I, as are you staunchly opposed in the new world order. So he's like, yeah, I, I don't eat meat. And I'm like, well, I want to, because they don't want me to. <laughs> I saw a headline. I'm not sure where I saw it, but it was, it might've been the channel to give that some thought channel, but it was, is, is not eating cockroaches. Or, there are so many cultures. I believe he sent that yeah. actually today. Maybe is not eating cockroaches racist. racist yeah. <laughs> Are you racist against Chinese people if you don't eat bugs? If you don't eat bugs, yeah. No, this is, this is yeah. Yeah. Honk, honk, motherfucker. Never mind that they live in a country, in an area of the world that has, <laughs> you know, four billion people in it and resources are super fucking scarce. So, yeah, if you want to survive, you kind of have to eat cockroaches. And yeah, that's exactly. Great. That's yeah. great. Then that's fine. Sure. Sure. And that's fine. But we don't have to do that. No, we don't. Yeah. I'll grow my own food first. Yeah. Which you get more bugs in the food you grow, anyways. But sure, like we've all eaten bugs. It's it happened. Get sprayed. Yeah, whether well, yeah. voluntary or involuntary, you've eaten some bugs before. Yeah, you know. You think Omicron is just HIV, or should we do water cast? <laughs> Next week, I'll give that some thought. <laughs> uh, the censored brothers will be back. <laughs> so, what do we have here? You want to describe this? Here, here. All right. So, first off, metal bottle. Um, metal bottle. Yeah, it can though, because look, it's squishy too. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's it's like it's it's not like the path water though. Here's what it is: it's, rigid. <laughs> it's like that one weird shape bo- of bottle that Miller Lite has. Not Miller Lite. Mm, no, uh, who is it that has that shitty ass can? Is it Michelob? It's Michelob. No, no, it is. It is Miller Lite. Is it Miller? It's the one that's, yeah, it's the white can. Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was a Michelob something. I think Michelob does it too, but but Miller, Michelob, it's yeah, the same. Yeah, these faggy it's, little. It's the same sort of. Yeah. It's the same brand. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Miller is Much Michelob's shorter than, like, a, than a Bud Light. Like even even like a regular, those tall beer bottles that are yeah. that come in cans sometimes. But much more, the, the can is much more firm and dense than right. a normal beer bottle would be. But. About the, the same size. A normal beer can, yeah. Yeah. We're looking at 16 ounces here. Yeah. So. 16 ounces. And what is this? This is called rain. Rain. It's just rain. Like rain from the sky, man. Rain. Pure mountain spring water. There it is. Better for you. Better for the planet. Alkaline ba- balanced. Colder faster because it's aluminum. Mm-hmm. BPA free liner. That's good. Like that. Yeah. But aluminum, though. And definitely recyclable. Infinitely it's made recycled. from uh, recycled materials. Recycled most often. Aluminum is recycled four times more than more often than plastic. Mm-hmm. Made um, in the, made in the USA. And then there's a little logo here too. One percent for the planet. So I guess they. I okay, know. so source: Mountain Spring Water, Tiger, Georgia. Oh really? Yeah. So this is so this uh, is this is this right is, here. This is water from Dixie. Right here, local. For water quality and information, contact bottled, Hello at simplyrainwater.co. Bottled in Tiger, Georgia, and uh, sourced from Tiger. So, yeah, this is some spring water from, uh, looks like a local spring that was bought up by a multinational conglomerate. <laughs> and now they turn, who, who, who is, does it say? It doesn't, I, the parent it, company? they might be on their own. I'm, I'm not bottled by, no, Simply Rainwater is the only thing I see. Processed by Oza Nation down there at the very bottom. Hello, simplyrainwater.com is their website. Let's see. Let's see who Simply Rainwater is owned by, if anybody. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, number one for the planet, or 1% for the planet. I guess they give 1% of their money back, is what I'm saying. Is what, what I would imagine. Very neutral bouquet. So this is their whole stick the original plastic free can- canned water. No. 
Oh, okay. okay. So this is the, yeah, their whole shtick is, hey, look, because you'll recycle this and not. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. They came before murder water and yeah, and all the death thirst, and all the rest. Yeah, why aluminum? Yeah, they have a whole page on here. For years, Rainwater Company. I don't know about years. Private label and custom printing. Oh, so you can get your own bottle. Look at that. Dude, that's what we should sell. Like, we do water cast. We should private label our own water. GTSD water. Get a logo and everything. You already took a hit off it. What do you got? What's the link? I'm trying to think GTSD. Give Thirst some... I don't know. You'd want the GTST acronym to mean something for the water? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Yeah. I would think we would name them. We, we, could, we could do limited edition runs mm-hmm. where we put the artwork from some of the episodes on. Okay. Yeah. Do that and call them, you know, like this is the 100% demoralized one. <laughs> this is these pissed truths. Sells right out, obviously. <laughs> no. no. We get sued and the company gets acquired by Kanye West. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, very neutral taste. Yeah, it's it's very straightforward. Little bit of a tinny. Do you get that, or is that am I in my head playing with me because the aluminum? Not tinny, but dryness. I'm not getting a ton of minerality from this. No, I'm not either. It's good water. Yeah, it is, but it's not. It's it's very dry. I'm curious how alkaline it is because I really like that. You know, almost. Um, oh, have you ever, you ever had a water softener? Live someplace with a water softener? Yeah, yeah. Or drank out of a hotel. Yeah, yeah. It's very it has almost like a soft water taste to it. A little it, bit. It yeah. does leave the mouth feeling very dry. From cloud to can, <laughs> everybody's got to jerk off. So it's there. rainwater, not spring water. It says Pure Mountain Spring Water. But it's named rain. It slowly filters underground. No, it comes from a spring. Mm-hmm. Bottle at the source. I'm not getting a oh, water quality. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that actually links to a Google Drive PDF. What do we got here? Okay, pH oh. six point seven. Low, but decent. Right. And we've got calcium, chloride, a little bit of copper. Uh, no fluoride. Magnesium, nitrate, potassium, sodium, and Oh, the last one is total the dissolvable solids, which Sarah enlightened us to um, after we didn't know what TDS meant. It's it's dirt. It's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's interesting. Pleasant Place Road, Tiger. What Georgia. is TDS? Total dissolvable solids. Yeah. yeah. But what does that mean? It's like after you boil it out or... Distill it enough. I, I'm not sure the, mm-hmm. the technical definition. Distill. Yeah, but it's it's uh, the amount that's left over. Let's see how their Instagram looks. Hmm. Oh, of course. <sighs> oh, look, it's some, it's some hoe. Yeah. In a boat drinking water. As I always like to say, just another whore on the internet. Oh, we got him. You know, he, he's badass. He's hydrated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's tough. He's got tattoos, you can tell. He does, yeah. Oh, and look at this. Oh, depth of field. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. It makes you want the water. Sure. A lot of pictures of the oceans. <laughs> Shit's bottled in Georgia. Like, there's no, like, you know, they, they got pictures like that. There's like, oceans there's no, all over the place in Georgia. Yeah, there's no sea turtles in Georgia. What, what? Where is this from in Georgia? I don't know. What did it say? Tiger, Georgia. Tiger, Georgia. You're going to look on the map where Tiger, Georgia where is. Where is Tiger, Georgia? <laughs> Probably not anywhere near the damn ocean, bro. I got pictures of sea turtles and stuff. So what's your rating then, though, for rainwater? It's it's innovative. It's neat stuff. And thanks to Hango for sending it. BPA-free liner. What's the... Is there a liner in the... Yeah, yeah. All cans have liner. All aluminum cans have liners because aluminum is toxic. Yeah, but you don't really feel anything. That's why that's why they say like don't drink or eat from dented cans. Yeah, yeah. You know. You know that there there are people that claim that uh Alzheimer's wouldn't exist but for aluminum in the brain. It's true. You think so? I do. Hmm. 
What are you doing about that? You taking your daily NAC or what? <laughs> Tiger Georgia is nowhere near an ocean. An ocean. It is close to the top. Yeah, but I've lost it. There we go. Tiger Georgia. <laughs> anyway, um, not a big fan of the bottle. Yeah, it's too small for my taste, I, I, too. It is. It is too small. I would never grab this because of the size. And I don't think they have bigger ones. I get it. I understand the appeal. Um, Not it's, from it's, an eco it's, it's, it's sturdy. But. It's sturdy. The water is neutral. It is. You could reuse this pretty easily. And, and the mouth size is, is good for the tip of your penis. You could just, <laughs> you know, long road trip. God. You know. Is that is that really... We can move on. There's a half point I've been I've been not <laughs> telling people about water. It's why I hate Ice Mountain so much. Yeah, you know. Yeah, is uh doesn't quite work. You, it, yeah, you get one like you know, you're in the middle of the night. And you need somewhere to go. You don't want to trek all the way upstairs. You know, you need a a, a bottle you can trust <laughs> to, with a mouth to handle enough of a mouth to you know make things easier. To, Make a solid connection in the like the space station. Almost. Yes, for for trusted for docking, yeah. trusted docking. Yeah. No, I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Okay. Yeah. No, not really, but uh, yeah, I'd piss into this. <laughs> I'd piss in this water can. I don't know if it'd be enough though. Sixteen ounces. I mean, to do in a pinch. Bro, like if you're I'll, just trying to if you're just trying to relieve the pressure, you know what I mean. Like you, you see that you see that big essentia that we have up there, front yeah, and center. Yeah, I, I've peed in one of those before, and gone over halfway. I pee a lot, bro. Sometimes on the side of your house. <laughs> and there we are. <laughs> Full circle. Rain, Pure Mountain Spring Water. I'm gonna <laughs> say I'm gonna five and a half. Five and a half, yeah, not that high. Taste, it, it could taste better. It does leave the mouth a little dry. I wonder if it'd be better fine. colder. You think so? Ice cold? It's it's pretty cold to me, but... It's but, cool. Yeah, it, it might be. Um, here's the thing about... about. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... It's 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 decent, not great. Not There's a, nothing it, remarkable. It's not a buy for me. Yeah, there's nothing know. remarkable. Yeah, the the bottle's just a bit too small. It's aluminum, which feels weird, and I get it why they're doing aluminum, but it just feels weird. It hits all the key points. Yeah, BPA free, minerality, alkalinity, um, but nothing really remarkable. Out yeah, it's yeah. you know it's 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 well sourced. It's a baseline water. It hits all of the things you're looking for in a decent bottled water. Locally, like a good spring water, mm -hmm. minerality, BPA, mm -hmm. uh, alkaline, alkaline. Like the the packaging is is decent. Yeah, it does. It's not good. an ugly bottle. Yeah, no, it, it's the bottle is appealing. The aluminum is not it's not cheap. Yeah, the mouth size is good. It hits all of the points I'm looking for in a bottle of water, but it does it does nothing really better well. than. Than anybody else out there, and 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 it does it's slightly above average. Yeah, on all the points I'm looking for. So I'm going to give it a five point five, slightly above average, above average. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm right there with you because, like you said, there's just there's no home runs. It's yeah, you know. yeah. There's nothing that it does really really good. Yeah, it's just it if, does all if, the basics. If, well. if this was a liter bottle, I think I'd, I think you'd get more out of me because I like a big size mm -hmm. and the fact that it has all those other components. But the 16 ounces, man, come on. Like at 3 a.m. after you went to sleep from two pinnacle gummies, like, you know, that's not going to cut it. That's all oh, you saying. wake up in the in, in the middle of the night. And you're like, man, I need uh, water. Water. And, yeah. I need yeah. to swim. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I, I do. You do that move? I, yes, it's not, it's not 3 a.m. It's usually about 5, 36 in the morning. Yeah. Um, see, mine Mine is, I'll go... I'll, I'll but you like, see that bottle I have by my bed right now? Yeah. That's that Walmart brand. Yeah. It's it's Terrible 20, bottle. 24 ounces or something like that. Yeah. I've been hanging on to them for the past month and a half in the back of my truck. I bought a six-pack yeah. like six weeks ago thinking, oh, this is Walmart brand spring water. We haven't had this. Yeah. I'll get a six-pack 
<laughs> and it'll be fine. There's one more in my truck. Yeah. Cause Actually, I think not even that because I've been like drinking through them. Yeah. But. You hit the whole thing at 5 a.m.? Oh, I'll, I'll I'll do half of it. Yeah. And I'll do, like, the baby, like, on the nipple thing. I'll, like, like sit up just enough because the bottle would be full, and it's a little flimsy. <coughs> yeah. So I'll sit up just enough to get it in my mouth. Uh-huh. But not... But not spill anything, and then I'll lay back you're... in bed. Oh, I'll really? I'll lay back on the uh, pillow, and, like, tilt it up. Do the pro like, move. Like, like, like I'm a hamster. Yeah. <laughs> And just over the course of like a minute and a half, drink half of it, just a, one little swallow at a time. God, like I'm nursing on this water bottle. Yeah, and then I usually burp and fart and <laughs> roll, roll over, over and, and go, go back, back to, to bed. bed for another three hours. Yeah, four Look, hours. You know, see, I I set my uh, I set I, I usually usually it's one of these, and I try and have it full mm-hmm. because I will get up several times during the night to pee, and I want to. Take a giant hit off of my bottle. How many times do you get up at night to pee? At least once, usually, mm. or or maybe twice. I drink. I well, what happens is I get to the end of the day and I'm like, oh, I didn't drink any water today. <laughs> I've told you that's bad for you, man. You got to drink fifty percent of the water that you're going to drink. You need to drink in the first part of the day. You do feel a lot better. I try and do that, but I I also hit the coffee too, which I know. I mean, it dehydrates it's you. Not but bad. That's 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 not that great. You really gotta. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna do coffee first thing in the morning, and especially the way I make it, you gotta you gotta drink at least that much water or more yeah. to balance it out and so, get a benefit from the caffeine. That twenty four hour ounce bottle. Uh-huh. I drink half of that at about five or six in the morning. Yeah. And then nine thirty, ten o'clock, I get back up and I drink the, the other half. Yeah. So you've had a, a what is it, a liter? I don't know. 24 ounces. 24 ounces. Yeah. Yeah. You, and then you've I, had that before you then hit I, yeah. the ground. And then I usually drink like two or three. Like 20 ounce little, you know, the, the thermos cups everybody has. Yeah. I've got one of those at work that I got for free. It's has it's like Dos Equis beer logo on it or something like that. Actually, no, it's Stella Atois. <laughs> but I usually drink like three or four of those during the day. Yeah. So. And then come home and refill that again. Yeah. We'll come home, drink the equivalent of rum, and then <laughs> refill that again. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's. It's not. It's a good size. It's the equivalent of a guy who, in in a, the eyes of a woman, who's five nine and makes eighty k a year with a four and a half inch penis. <sighs> like <laughs> you can make do with it, but it's not what you really want. <laughs> it's slightly above average on all aspects. You know what I mean? Right. Right. You know. I don't think four and a half is slightly above average. If though. you go by the <laughs> the the total global population and average it out over countries, well, you can't do that. That's not fair. Whites are better at everything. Well, but you, you still, <laughs> it's all it's fine if you compare yourself to South Koreans. It's fine. Okay. Is it? Well, not in math scores, but <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's. Boy, that's for damn sure. Or professional level video games. Yeah, yeah. But. Um, well, rain, rain. Uh, pure mountain spring water brought to us by a friend of the show, Hango from the Hango Wood Show. Yeah, um, check him out on pri- Tripod Broadcasting. Um, Go there and listen to my episode. None of the others, just the one I he's was. He's slowly creeping us up to us. He's like on episode fifty now. After he like is six yeah. months. Yeah, I think mine was was. I, and he, I, I think he said it was just pure ha- happenstance, but I was like, "Oh, you gave me the big five zero. I think I think it was episode. 50. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he's he's plugging along, man. And he just, I mean, just just keeps on giving him to me. Jesse, same way. Um, I he is a little little bit more irregular, but I think I think they're on like episode like nineteen or something. Now. Really, I have not checked that or out. Fifteen yet. or they're they're double digits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And th- they're getting interviews. Uh, they've interviewed a bunch of people from. Um, Calcedon, I guess, university or something, foundation. I, I, I'm not sure Cortis, exactly what it is. Cortisedon HPB? No. <laughs> no. No. Um, and they interviewed some 
band, I think, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you could tell, and and I hope I hope these guys that send me all these episodes don't expect me to listen to them all. Because <laughs> I don't, and I, I I because I truly don't care what they say on the network. Like I mean, like they you, they could just release an episode where it's just like the n word for an hour. I'd be like, no, okay, whatever. If that's what you want to do, okay. If you want to copy, give that some thought. I <laughs> guess that's what you do. <laughs> right, but it's like I I truly don't care. So they just send it to me, and I do a little post processing, and do a little do a little extra love for them, uh, and then upload it. And um, <laughs> yeah, they they just keep rolling along. So we've got two of all the shows we have on the network. We've got two that are consistently producing, and and by all means, check them out. They might be something you like. I, it's a, something people a lot of people like. I know um, Hango's got a decent following. I think so. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think I think there's a real local crew that really likes. Cause, well, see, that's because that's, that's, that are... that's what I was about to get into is because you have so many of the people that he talks to are from kind of his inner circle, and that's kind of yeah. what he's enjoyed doing. It, it it's it's evident from the podcast is what he enjoys doing is really kind of diving deep into these characters that he's you know friends with, and yeah. you know it's part of his life. So when you have that, it's like, oh, I was on. The Hango Show. What's yeah. the Hango Show? Oh, we'll give it a listen. <laughs> oh, my my son was on a podcast. Podcast? Is that like the radio? It's better than the radio. You can pause it, and there's no commercials. Oh, there are commercials, man. <laughs> well, not in all Dude, the number of streams now. Like, well, so I, I've started listening. I was listening to, well, I told you I've been picking through. I don't know if I said it on air or not, but I've been picking through um, Tinfoil Hat mm-hmm. with Sam if he has a good guest. Um, and he's, he's got ads and, um, what's the other one? What's the other one? Uh, Jay Dyer does ads. Jay Dyer, his are inserted, which is even worse. Fucking bullshit. I'd rather you just read something. Just yeah. fucking read me the mattress or whatever it is. Uh, there's somebody else that inserts them now too. Oh, Eon Bite. Really? I'm pretty sure because I pulled up an episode, um, Really randomly, because he who shall not be named actually sent it to me. It was like, have you ever listened to this episode? You no, know, I think and I listened it was to Chris Knoll- Knowles. Yes, it was. It was yeah, Luciferian no, was, technology. That was from a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was like two, three weeks ago. I listened to that the other day, and yeah, it did. I was it like, did, yeah, they what were the injected hell? ads. I was like, bro, yeah. But they all do it with this platform that you know, and then they get I don't know pennies upon it or whatever. And I, and I'm not knocking them. I mean, you know, they got bills to pay. I got bills to pay too. I mean, if you got to make your nut, but still, it's uh, it's annoying. Or just do like Greg. Like, honestly, like, just let me pay you for the ad free experience because yeah. I do that for him. And I do that, I, you know, with Joseph Farrell and I would rather just, I'd just, just let me pay you for your, your content. If it's that good, if it's good enough, yeah. you know, which, which is why we'll never have a subscription service of any sort. <laughs> um, yeah. That's why when Hango was like, Hey, you buy you stuff. Really dude. You sure you want to like, yeah, you, know, you, you want to reward this. <laughs> Right. You want to encourage us doing yeah. this? Y- you hope we don't stop doing this. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> like, okay, if that's what you get. But, I mean, if you like it, but I, I certainly don't get it. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, no, I, I, I do see the appeal. And, and after the, how many, 300 plus episodes we've done, um, there's a th- certain therapy in it. And maybe that's what attracts people to it, you know, is that it's not... I so, certainly get a lot of texts when we don't record. Yeah, I don't, but I don't have any <laughs> friends, so. Well, I'm surprised your family didn't ask because you know it's the, the guy, the men, the the brains left in the family are still listening. <laughs> Sam listens um, still, but no. Um, uh, can you can you imagine did, if other folks listened? He did say something o- over um, Thanksgiving about not having a new episode. No. Or something like that. Maybe it was Halloween. I don't know. But he said something about it. I actually it. saw a guy for the first time that brought us a meal because they started a meal train, you know, because mm-hmm. my wife's recovering. And I saw a guy that I hadn't seen in 10 years, like literally from college. And so we kind of caught up and stuff. And it was funny because his wife was like, are you still doing a podcast? And I was like, <laughs> I was like yep, the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> <laughs> yep. go, go listen it's good stuff uh yeah it's kind of like oh, come on you gotta you really gotta be in for a while and 
<laughs> I don't know if you need to be in for a while, but you definitely. Um, it's not for everyone. It's it's just like a thousand other podcasts out there, you know. It's, well, don't say that. I mean, no, it is. But I think I think we're unique with Watercast. I really do. Oh, definitely, definitely. There's no one out there doing something. There's, there's, there's no one out there who's taken something so mundane. Yeah, it's bottled water and, and turned it into you know a review show. Something that uh, <laughs> would actually have legs if we actually did it, but we yeah. won't. So there nope. you go. No, nope, we won't. It'll forever be the the quintessential water critiques will forever be lost in the ether. Yeah. Of, so many of of dicks and titties intros and of nigger outros. <laughs> See, there's another episode title I'd love to use. I don't know what I'm going to call this one. Yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks, man. It's not been easy. I've 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 definitely at, at work and your favorite GIF else. is <laughs> you send me when we start talking at eleven or twelve at night about. Yeah, man, this shit happened today. And then you're like, yeah, this shit happened today. And then you, you always send that GIF. What is it? That many oh. times that's what life is. <laughs> the Al, It's from, from Deadwood. Fantastic show. Um, but Al Swearingen from Deadwood. And he says, many times that's what life fucking is. One vile fucking task after another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been rough. It's been rough. But here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Reunited in, in water and cannabis once again. Mm-hmm. Feels Can't good. That. Feels good. It does feel good. What's new on the menu? You got anything cool going on? Uh, today just dropped a new menu. Oh, really? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> really? Because it's is it's, it difficult? It, no, it's because it's it's actually much easier because I've had to I had to drop like three different things off the menu to make it easier with a smaller kitchen. Right. Make things easier. Um, and that's not what I want. I don't want to make things easier. I I want to make things better and easier is better is very rarely easier. Yeah. Um, in almost all things. And I, I, I want to make it better, but I'm kind of forced to make it easier because of staffing. Um, yeah. And, and so I, and I had, I put in half the time and effort I really wanted to, um, not in cooking things. Well, yeah, in actually in cooking things in, in putting together recipes and in putting together ideas, um, the chicken dish I came out with is decent. The tenderloin can be good <laughs> with some tweaking. Um, the pork dish is a step down, which I don't like. Mm-hmm. It's a step down from what we were doing. Um, just as far as like the color and things on the plate, just it's a step back. Um, and as actually I'm talking about this, I'm thinking about like work stuff now and now. No, I didn't mean to do that. Like, yeah, but it's it's just it's not it's not what I want. It's what I have to have to do right now to make things continue to to put butts in seats and turn those butts over and and yeah. sell checks. And that's that's kind of where I am right now, which is. A frustrating place to be as a chef is like you want to do the art and not the yeah you I mean you want to to like somebody was like oh pull this new dish because it's you know we did a new menu tonight server pulled the dish out of the out of the window is like oh uh, that looks nice I'm like I no it doesn't <laughs> yeah she, she was like oh well I like it I'm like it doesn't look nice right she's like what's wrong with it I'm like it has it has no composition. It's just ingredients are there, but they're not composed. It's notes on a page, but there is no, uh, there's Song. no, there's no, there's, there's no melody. No. And it's just like, it's, it's, the ingredients are all there and it's fine, but I'm not trying to make a goulash here. You know what I mean? Right. That's not, it's not fucking stew. <laughs> and so. What's wrong with a good goulash? It's, uh, no, but it's not, yeah. I'm not trying to, it's not, it's not what I want. So I don't know. I, I back to the drawing board and I'm going to try and do better with different things tomorrow. I need to work on a couple fluid gels and um yeah, just there's just elements I don't like to stuff. So that's all. Anything anything new on the brunch menu? No, brunch menu stayed the same. Yeah. We just raised prices. 
<laughs> on a couple things. Yeah, it's it's the name of the game, man. Like every single week, I get an invoice in when I when I get I get my Something's invoices different. in. I'm I, I a year ago I wasn't doing this, but I am doing it now. Is like I'm going line by line and looking at the prices. Yeah, and seeing okay, what's gone up, what's gone down, you know. Yeah, and like, work around that a little bit. I mean, fucking butter went up five percent this week. Jeez, like you know, a case of butter, like thirty six. A case of butters, thirty six pounds of butter is fifty bucks now. Man, you know, which is cheap compared to what you get it in the store for right. you know thirty six pounds of unsalted butter. It's still yeah, it's a wholesale price, but but still, you know, it's an extra five percent. Crab keeps inching upward. I tried to do lop. I want to do lobster for mm. the New Year's Eve menu, which I still haven't fucking finished. Want to do lobster for the New Year's Eve menu? We're doing it two nights. We're doing it New Year's Eve and New Year's Day because it's Friday and Saturday. Right. And normally we'll do like a lobster bisque and what we call knuckle sandwich, hmm. which is just a, a lobster tea sandwich, hmm. lobster roll. Basically, people know it as lobster roll, but lobster bisque and lobster roll. And lobster right now <laughs> for a five pound case of lobster. Yeah. How much, how, how much are we talking? And this is like scrap meat lobster. Yeah. For me to get it what I was getting two years ago from them, it's 50, but no, I'm sorry. It's $25 a pound. Jeez. For lobster. My it's like a $130 case for five pounds of lobster meat. Loose, scrap lobster meat. Yeah. Not even the good stuff. Yeah. Well. It's insane. Yeah. And. Uh, Have you bought any more rice, personally, for yourself? I, I, yeah. <laughs> Get another bag. Bro, I got a water filter now. I got. I bought a. I bought a Linzatic. I bought one of those really nice uh, compasses. You mm-hmm. know, because I'm going to start building my 24 hour pack back up. Okay. Okay. I don't know, man. Well, make sure you have some have some rice in your car, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, but I think we got three five pound bags right now. That's, that's amateur level rice, bro. I gotta up my rice game. Huh? I got twenty. I got twenty pounds of rice in my truck alone. Okay, dear God, what do you expect to happen, Matt? Are you eventually? I'll bring it inside. But for right now, it's <laughs> I'm too lazy. I bought it a couple months ago, and it's been it's fine. It's, so it's not back like there. this is out of some grave fear of the apocalypse. It's just yeah, I got it at Sam's, and I haven't brought it in yet. And I'm like, oh, I could go back another trip with the car to the car, but or to the truck. But like, uh, what if society collapses tomorrow and yeah, then like you'd have just, it there. That's true. It's just me That's and true. my truck and forest and my sword. And, you know, <laughs> we pull up and like, hey, I have rice to barter. Right. Do That's you have true. rum? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you cook rice and rum? I guess you could. It'd be <laughs> the boiling is what would be difficult. You could cook rice. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you boil rum? A gas stove or an electric? <laughs> Well, I mean, in an apocalyptic scenario, we're doing it over a fire. Let's be. Well, they let's, would not go well for us. No, it wouldn't. Because I don't think they so. would catch fire. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it probably tastes like ass. Well, what are you going to do? Dude, I got so much firewood. I got Good. so much firewood. Like, if Spire, if, if like, if you want to, like, literally save money this winter, like, I, I'll, I'll bring you a truckload of firewood. No problems. <laughs> so, like, what? Um, three, four armfuls of firewood? <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. In your Ford, there's a full bed on that truck. Don't be a in dick. your four. Don't yeah, be a dick. A, a, a full race car bed, bed full of firewood <laughs> for a toddler. That's not true. That's not true. You could you they they were able to put two full scoops from a bobcat of compost in the back of that truck. Don't be disrespectful. It's a very nice truck. Two whole scoops, huh? It's the, it's the same amount as in a box of raisin raisin bran. <laughs> That's how much compost is in Raisin Bran? <laughs> Two full <whole> scoops. Yeah. <laughs> Two full scoops of, of compost in Raisin Bran. Fuck yeah. that, man. I'm glad I didn't eat that shit. Well. Anyways. Breakfast cereals are, bull- are bullshit. By and large, yeah. It, mm-hmm. And anymore, it just seems like it's just another way. It's just like, oh, here's here's 
processed here's a processed like binder to a ton of sugar. Yeah, here's like that's it. Here's, here's <laughs> three different types of of, of, of sugars. Corn. Here's three different types of corn, and it's all going to turn into sugar in your lower intestine. Yep. So, you know, enjoy. F- fuck you, pancreas. <laughs> exactly. No, dude, it's really bad, man. Like I, I notice it more and more every day. Is just the stuff that we eat and stuff. And I'm like, man, that's not that great. That's not. That. I mean, and we're making changes, and we're you know, but it, it's just man, so much, so much food on the shelf is just garbage. Mm-hmm. Just. Ob- objective garbage. It's tough, man. It's tough. Yep. And you know, because the kids that they don't know any better. That's all they want. Yeah. My daughter said. My daughter now says that like if she if she wants something if she wants to like eat out somewhere she's like I want to go to a food place. And I'm like, little girl, you are a food place. Now get in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to a food place. <sighs> Anyways, they made their own pizzas tonight. I well, supervised good. them. Yeah, that's nice. They made their own pizzas. And like with like pizza dough or? Yeah, just a little pre-made pizza doughs. Oh, okay. Buy the small ones for them. And yeah. Put the sauce on there and then, and then let's see, what do we did? We did Proville cheese, pepperoni, and bacon. You know, uh, cool, cool trick. English muffins. Mm. Cut them open. No, no, do it. Do, uh, you will take your English muffin, slice it in half, mm-hmm. and then just build a pizza on top of it. Yeah. Mini pizza. Bake in the oven, five, 12, 15 minutes. Done. We used to buy English muffins. We don't anymore. That's what bagel bites are. That's what bagel bites are. It's just, yeah. it's, it's cheap English muffin. Yeah. With, you know, with like hoof. It's, meat. A, t- it's a tiny bagel, Matt. That's what it is. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Bagel bites, mini pizzas are better on English muffins. I think for me personally than anything any anything else. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we just do the mini ones that, where you buy the doughs. There's like three in a package, and it comes with the sauce, little packets of sauce for it. Nice. Yeah. And then we had that Emos Provel cheese that, ever since my wife found out existed, buys it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. She's paying a, pre- a premium to pay for Emo's brand in the oh, St. Yeah. Louis area. Oh, yeah. So yes. If she, <laughs> yes. If she, I mean, just look for five blend cheese, and that's that's what it is. Yeah. So Provel is nothing more than a blend of cheddar and Swiss and provolone. That's what it and is. And mozzarella or no? Yeah, a little bit of mozzarella. Nice. Is it hard to make cheese? I want to do that with my kids. No, it's not. Okay. All right. No, I haven't so, even looked it up. But so so okay. So I do this all the time. Uh-huh. It's like if you want to make like a ricotta, yeah, for a salad. Like I did a beet salad uh, a couple like six month two months ago. Yeah. Pickled beets, roasted beets, um, and then fennel. No bears or Battlestar Galactica though. No, uh, no. no bears, Battlestar Galactica, fennel, orange, and then I made a ricotta. So you take and it's a great thing to do. When you have milk, that's like the expiration date says you have two days, mm-hmm. and you smell it, and it's like, no, I, I don't want to taste that. It'll, it'll taste like slightly sour to me. Right. It's a. It's, that's it, that's when you have milk that's about to turn. Yeah. And it's it's turned enough so you don't want to drink it. Yeah. But it's but not, it's not like, chunky. It's exactly. <laughs> it's not really that. If you could drink it and not like be a problem. Right. Yeah. Get sick, or have diarrhea or whatever. So you take. Uh, milk. Mm-hmm. So let's say you have a gallon. Mm-hmm. Take that gallon, and you put it on low on the stove. Okay. For. In a pan or in a jug? In, in a <laughs> pot. You put it on low on the stove until the top starts to get foamy. Right. And that's when you know you're you the milk is warm. And warm enough so you're like maybe 150, 160 degrees. Crank up the heat to high. Okay. To the point where you're almost about to boil over. Right. And then you take a cup of vinegar, okay, and you pour it in, and whisk. And you, I'm sorry. So you almost to where the the milk's about to boil over, right? Then you turn the heat off, okay. You add a tablespoon of salt, okay, and you take your whisk and you, you whisk that in, right? And then you take a cup of vinegar, white's best, but mm-hmm. apple cider's fine. Obviously, you wouldn't want to use like a balsamic or a red wine, right? But white or an apple cider's good. 
or even like rice wine if you have it. Take a cup of that or even like a, a half cup. You don't need really need that much. But if you want to get like that as really acidic, like funkiness to it, yeah. like the more vinegar you use, the better. Yeah. So then you dump that in and just whisk like crazy. Okay. Okay. And then you take a, a bowl uh, with cheesecloth over and with like maybe three inches of some give. So you have a kind of like a concave place. Yeah. And you dump that. Uh, over that cheesecloth and let all the way like it'll be like this yellowish piss looking liquid you'll get in the bottom <laughs> but all the all the curd all the cream that's in that milk will curd up right on top of the cloth yes and it'll turn into like a grainy ricotta nice and we uh we call it farmer's cheese yeah but it's just three ingredients milk salt and vinegar, vinegar. well i should do that with my kids next time we get them get yeah them and milk. they'll be they'll be Super fascinated be it, like by it, <laughs> and they'll love it too because yeah. like just plain on crackers. Oh yeah. my god! Because you get you got saltiness there. Yeah, but and, and the, it's some creamy. of the funk and yeah. yeah, I bet that's pretty good. The main thing you don't want to do is while you're whisking vigorously. Yeah, you don't want to scrape the bottom. Okay, because if you hit the bottom and scrape, yeah, um, you want the liquid to be moving, but you don't want to pull anything off the bottom because the bottom will scorch just a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like when you make scrambled eggs. Yeah. And you know how that bottom of that pan yeah. no, I, I has know what you're that talking about. liner yeah. Yeah. of burnt egg? Yeah. That bottom of, so you'll get like little bits of brown in there if you hit the bottom of that pan with your whisk. But as long as that liquid's moving while you pour in your vinegar. Right. And then just let it rest and, and settle for a minute. Pour over that cheesecloth. And boom, you're done. You, I mean, you can take a gallon of milk and make a quart, almost a quart of cheese. Nice. Out of it. Nice. And yeah, I mean, you could, yeah, you could put that on crackers, bagels, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, to. it's it's yeah. super it's super spreadable. And if you if you were take just like a couple, like take that quart, mm-hmm. maybe take an ounce of cream cheese mm-hmm. and whip that in there, you'd have this super creamy, mm. like. And the cream cheese would give it a little bit of extra sweetness. Extra sweetness and would give it that creaminess that you're looking for in like a ricotta. As opposed to the graininess. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there you go. Nice. That's one of my favorite things. That's one of my favorite stoner things, man. Like cream cheese on crackers. Nothing beats that. There's there's very few things that beat that for me. See? You 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 <laughs> like my peanut butter and cheese its <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a little like that. But man, you just take like cream cheese and We've been getting these, they're from Aldi's, um, but they're pita crackers, mm-hmm. and they're round, but they're salted just enough, and so it's it's basically like a like a crunchy saltine, a little bit kind of like matzah, but but not not quite that drab, um, but it's just these circle pita crackers, and man, a little bit of cream cheese on those, that's really living, mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's living. That's living. Uh, or or buttery rounds, obviously. Obviously. Cream cheese, obviously. But uh, I'm surprised you don't do peanut butter on those. It seems like peanut butter would be good on those. It is, but I prefer <laughs> it on the cheese it. I remember that was on like episode like 12. And you're like, yeah, man, I got my peanut butter and my cheese it's And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Why would you put peanut butter on cheese it's It seems like such a pain with how small they are. Yeah, but you get like three or four of them <laughs> and lined up. Yeah, <laughs> and you get you scoop it the right way, and you get like grooves in of p- peanut butter in uh-huh. between the cheese. It's right, hmm. and then sometimes it's on, sometimes it's on your fingernail, and you was like, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. I've done that with uh, cream cheese and, and Fritos before. <laughs> Yeah, cream cheese, cream cheese, and then put and then just just get a little Thanks bit of cream cheese on Thanks for listening, everybody out there in audio land. <laughs> this is just this is degenerate. Oh come on, it's salty. Well, yeah. you don't like the you what? You just hate Fritos because they're corn. No, I don't. I like Fritos. Oh well, then what's why would they be bad with cream cheese? I know what I like, and I like Fritos corn chips. Okay. <laughs> why would they be bad with with cream cheese though? That's not that outlandish of a combination. It just, it just seems weird to me. Well, next time when you're a little baked, like I said, take take a little bit on the knife, and then just put them in the Frito bag and whatever's on there, and then just yeah, straight in. Yeah, I'm I'm not fucking around, man. <laughs>
you eat you eat peanut butter on cheese. It's Matt. You 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 sit in no place to judge. Let's come on. I make peanut butter cheese it <laughs> tacos and flour shells. Right. Dip them into my chili. You have no place to judge. <sighs> okay. All right. Fine. I mean, you know. <sighs> God damn. It's late. <laughs> yeah, it is. We gave them oh. enough. You think so? I think so. Yeah, it's late. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll be back do a Christmas special, <laughs> but maybe we'll quit. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not going to quit, but no promises. Um, oh yeah, no, no promises on my end either. Yeah, I mean, I'm staring. At, I mean, yeah, the, I, I, yeah. I I have no idea how this month is going to work with her condition and. The fact that family thinks that holidays are important. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be tremendously difficult for me. I'll tell you that <laughs> because I don't, I, man, Christmas seems so just like made up BS to me. I, I really, I just, ugh, I hate it so much. I hate it I so much because it's so shaped by a wicked culture truly and and it's just like well no wonder this is this is what they do like this this is not none of this is about the birth of our lord and and I, it just bugs me because then then when you when you get to that point ideal uh, ideologically then then you're left with well then it's just consumerist bullshit and an excuse for family to be assholes <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. I'm having myself a Merry Christmas so far. <laughs> it's, uh, no. What are you going to do? Anyways. Joe. Thanks for listening, everybody out there in Audio Land. Please clap. Whatever you say, liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. Yeah, live. Whatever you say, liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. Yeah, live. Whatever you say, Liberal? Okay, okay, liberal? Can you really ever have enough guns? This has been a production of Tripod Broadcasting.